Good afternoon, everyone. Today we're talking about the three reasons why clients aren't rebooking. Okay, number one. Here it is. Number one. And it seems simple, but it isn't. There was no rapport which simply means there was no connection. You didn't have that, that, that connection between you and the client and at the most basic, the most basic human sort of need is that people want to be around people that make them feel good. Right? And so there's so many ways to establish rapport. Basically, there, there's hundreds. Uh, I talk about a lot in other courses, and there are other things called matching and mirroring, and that's other ways to look at it with visual, auditory, and kinesthetic learning. But there's so many things we can talk about, but I just want to leave you with the rapport aspect. If you feel a disconnect, you got to make sure you get connected because nothing can be built in that treatment unless you connect. They don't feel that you're the one that's going to take them to the outcome that they need. And number two, builds on it. So if you don't get one, number two is hard. Number two is there's no treatment plan or therapeutic relationship established, which simply means the client doesn't feel that they're going to invest in you because you didn't give them what's happening now, what you can do, and what the future looks like. And so that's the simplest you know, part of a, a treatment plan, is you need to know where they are and take them through where they're going and the outcome they can expect. If you do not do that, most clients just leave. They just go to another, another therapist. So when you're looking at it, very important, you bring that into every treatment. Every treatment finishes with a treatment plan. Okay? The third re reason why people aren't rebooking Quite simply, the expectations of the client when they came in doesn't match the reality of the treatment, and therefore they don't rebook. And you could have done a world-class treatment, absolutely world-class, and you thought, whoa, man, I knocked that baby out of the park. But unless you match their expectations, and to match their expectations, you need to ask them, hey, what are your expectations for treatment? Oh, they say, hey, I just need to take a break. My life is so stressed out. Cool. You know where they want to go. Give them a treatment that matches that. When you meet their expectations and develop rapport, all three of those things work seamlessly. So take those things, think about it, and please, please, please act on it. Okay? So number one, you've got to get rapport. Number two, you got to get the treatment plan and therapeutic relationship nailed. And number three, and you got to figure out their expectations. Get out there, take action. See you in the next video.